Hello everybody, um, let me highlight a brand new product from Cyberlink side. It's uh, called Color Rector and it does color grading on video material. So I can take this clip here, just add it to my storyboard and once I've added it here, I can start the adjustment. So on the left side you see a lot of tools uh, which you probably know from the photo editing. So what I can do now here is, you see the lemons, they have the right color, but these fruits look, look a little bit dry. So I want to make them more juicy, more colorful. So I can select a mask and add a mask here um, <coughs> to um, the fruits here. So this is one mask, there's another mask. And for now I can add more saturation and a little bit more green. So you already can see the difference, but this only applies to one frame. So what I need to start now is the motion tracking. So you can see that the software now follows very carefully the movement of the fruits and renders the new color um, to the fruits. So it's slowly moving to the left and the right side, following the movements. Um, but let me pause it now here and get back. So let us see the results and let me switch to a split screen so you can see before and you can see after and here you can see that these fruits are now um, much more juicy than the or original footage. Let me switch back to full screen mode and let me also highlight that we can adjust the corners or the borders of uh, my mask with a feather. So I can use it um, only a little bit or I can use it even stronger um, so I almost have a glow effect around the object. So one thing I also can do is I can pick a color with this tool and replace it with another color. Let me also highlight that I can not only use one mask, I can use several masks and do different color gradings to different objects. So one nice thing is that I can invert the mask. So one click here and I mark everything except what I marked before. So by that, for example, I can very quickly make my video coming black and white and just show the fruits uh, in color. So maybe I want to change this during uh, the video process. So which means I can add, see uh, and add this keyframe editor. So you can see, I can specify that at the beginning I want to start with black and white. Uh, in the further process, I want to switch back to color. And then at the very end of the video, I want to fade into black and white again. So here you can see, go from black and white up to normal color and go back to black and white. So let me see the results now in our video material. So we start in black and white, we're going to a color mode and then fade back to black and white. Well, that's great. So you can see how easy it is to make your color grading and your color adjustment to video material. Thanks, bye bye.